flying your RC plane can be really fun. But recording your epic flights with a GoPro is even better. This video shows you how to build a simple GoPro mount that can be installed on many different RC planes. It perfectly fits to a lot of the flight test foam board designs. This mount allows you to install your GoPro 3 or 4 in many different camera positions and angles. If you're using other GoPro models, you might have to make some small adjustments to the design. All you need is some plywood, a battery strap, piece of balsa wood, four screws, a GoPro and an RC plane. In this build video it is a flight test Bronco, which is a perfect platform for GoPro flying. For free plans and a list of material, check the description below. Let's start by cutting out the plan for the base frame. Apply some double-sided tape to the back of the paper. And attach it to the 3.5mm plywood. Drill the 2mm holes and also one or two holes in the middle section to insert the jigsaw. Do the same for the mounting plate. This time use a 3.5mm drill. Also drill a hole at each end of the slots using a 2mm drill. Let's grab your jigsaw to cut out the two pieces. We need some 3 by 12 mm universal pan head screws. Screw in and out, once for each of the four holes. Then add some CA glue to harden the threads. I'll show you how to install the base frame on an FT Bronco, but any other fuselage with a flat surface will be fine. Mark the position and apply a bead of glue. Press the frame firmly onto the fuselage. Add some more glue around the outside and remove any excess glue with a scrap piece of foam. Let's give it a test fit. If you're using an FT Bronco, you will need to make a cutout in the nose cover. Cut along the line, but do not cut into the sidewall of the nose cover. Make a vertical cut of about 30 mm. Now carefully cut along the sidewall, but don't go all the way to the tip of the nose cover. Cut open with a coarse cut and then trim the cuts to the level of the upper surface of the mounting plate, using the mounting plate as a guide. Cut a 29mm piece from a 5x5 balsa wood rod. Position the balsa piece as indicated on the plans. It will serve as a stop bar for the GoPro. Use CA glue to attach it. To reinforce the nose cover, apply clear packaging tape on the underside, around the front part and on the inside. Give it some 5cm more in the front to wrap it around to the inside. Apply a second tape to cover the rest of the underside. Let it overlap in the middle. Now 
put some tape on the inner side. A barbecue skewer is quite helpful for pulling the tape through to the nose. Cut the tape so that it is overlapping with the one from the underside, but not going all the way to the front. Adding a second tape to cover the rest of the inner side completes this task. This reinforcement will make your nose cover last a lot longer. Now insert a battery strap into the mounting plate. I use the one from Flight Test. The GoPro mount is now ready for installation. There are three possible ways of installing the GoPro in the nose of an FT Bronco. Facing forward, facing sideward, or in a tilted position. You'll find this plate also on the free plans. Build it just like the normal mounting plate. I use the same mount on my FT Super B in three different positions. Forward, facing sideward, and also facing backwards. Using the same GoPro mount, I also designed a selfie stick for the FT Bronco. My other design based on the GoPro mount is a rear-facing stick installation for the FT Bronco. Build videos for both designs will follow soon. I will put a link in the description below as soon as the videos are released. Before I end this build video, let me add two more tips. In order to protect your GoPro in the event of a hard landing or crash, I recommend using a protective lens. I'll put a link to the one I use in the description below. Unlike the newer GoPro models, the GoPro 3 and 4 are not waterproof without the special housing. When flying in the early morning hours or after a rain shower, you might find the grass all wet which could be an issue at landing. To give some protection to the GoPro, I use a small zip bag. Just cut a hole in it for the lens and put the camera inside. Close the zip and put the protective lens on. This will not make it waterproof, but you don't have to worry about spray water. Enjoy the build and thanks to leave a comment below if you like the design or to share any modifications or improvements you made. If you like this video, have a look at my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.